Hello again. I'm Dr. Paul Coleman, the author of Finding Peace When Your Heart Is in Pieces, and you're watching Peace Talks. I've been talking about the heroic journey that we all go on when our life has been transformed because of major losses. And one of the things that you need to understand as you're traveling on this journey is who you are as a person, how you got to be the person you got to be. And there's a couple of other tips I can give you that can give you some insights as to why you do what you do, how you cope the way you cope. For example, answer this question. What would you have liked to have received from your childhood but you didn't get? And I'm not talking about a gift per se, a toy. I'm talking about some kind of relationship uh, gift. Or what didn't you get enough of that you would have liked to receive more of? Chances are, if you say to yourself, you know, I always had to take care of my siblings because my parents worked or one of my parents was sick. So you grew up to be very responsible. But probably one thing you didn't get is a chance to be a kid, to have the kind of carefree attitude that most kids have. You may find that as an adult, you take a very responsible stance and you have a hard time giving to yourself. And you may actually overfunction for other people and then quietly resent it when they don't give you um, the kind of giving that you give to them. Another way to think about who you are would be to think first of all as what your strengths are. And if you take those strengths and you stretch them and use them too far, they become weaknesses. For example, an assertive person, that's a strength. You stretch it, maybe you're too aggressive. You could be intuitive, that's a strength. You stretch it and you, you may become very suspicious. Um, if you persevere, that's a strength. You stretch it too far, you may not know when to stop. You may keep hitting your head against the wall and getting frustrated in life, okay? If you think well of yourself, that's a strength. You stretch it too far, you might become arrogant. So when you're not sure what your weaknesses are, start with what you believe are your strengths. Stretch them and chances are you're gonna discover what your weaknesses are because those weaknesses are gonna show up during your journey of transformation. I'm Dr. Paul Coleman. You can find me on FindingPeaceInYourHeart.com. And you've been watching Peace Talks. Thank you.